In fact, faith can be summed up in the following way. Faith is doing your part, which is trusting God to do his part. Your part is to believe. That's all you need to do. And then you leave God to do his part. Your part is to stand on God's word. His word says that nothing is impossible with God. Let me ask you, are you doing your part? Are you believing and standing on God's word? Faith is not necessarily something tangible. It's not something you can put your hands on and control. Faith is the substance of hope and the evidence of the unseen. This means to me that if you can see it, it isn't faith. If you can explain it or control it, it isn't faith. Many of us try to orchestrate and control everything in our lives until one day we're faced with things that are outside of our control. And the truth is, the most important things in life are out of our control. You can exercise and diet all you want, but disease can still come knocking on your door. We can build magnificent buildings and structures, but we must still bow to the power of a tornado, a hurricane, or an earthquake. These things remind us that we are not in control. But I want you to understand that it's during times like these, when we feel out of control, that we are reminded of the purpose of faith. Faith enables us to be comfortably out of control. Even though we cannot control things like disease, nature, or death, we have faith that God has a plan and that God will have the last word. And so as we approach the throne of grace, let us ask God to help us to move into a space where we are comfortable without knowing. Ask him to move us to a place where we can be comfortable, not because we have all the answers, but because we know who our answer is. His name is Jesus. When you put your trust in the Lord, there is something that happens within you. You have a boldness about you when you know and trust that your steps are ordained by God. So where have you placed your trust? In whom have you placed your trust in? Now allow me to speak about doubt for a moment. Beware of doubt, because doubt is the enemy of faith. Doubt will only ever see the obstacles in front of you. However, faith, faith sees the way. Faith believes that God will make a way even when it seems like there is no way. Doubt will see darkness. Doubt will see despair. But faith will see the day. Faith will see the light. It will see hope. Doubt will cripple you as a person. But when you trust God, you can take a leap of faith. Trusting God dispels all fear. Faith and fear cannot simultaneously occupy your mind and heart. It's impossible. You either have one or the other. Faith and fear cannot exist together. 